What was it like being at Game and Brew? We got Prince Malcolm. We got we got Steps here. Uh, Brooklyn hopefully will pop back in in a minute. So, uh, could you talk about it, Prince Malcolm and um, Steps? Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead, Prince. Okay. Yeah. So, Game Prince. and Brew for me, it was like meeting up with childhood friends you haven't seen in like thirty plus years. We're all gamers. Uh, it was hot. the the uh, the the, um, the the juice was incredible. <laughs> That's all I can say. But um, uh, it, wonderful atmosphere. Wonderful to meet all the YouTube uh, content creators in person. Um, you really get to know who Jong is for who he is, and um, also um, Michael and the whole IRK staff. Um, it, it's just something that. When the next time it happens, be sure to get yourself on the list or or to shoot a text to, uh, or um, email so y'all you guys could come out. Okay, awesome. Uh, this guy here, he was my eyes and ears. I felt like I went to Game and Brew because of him, and I cannot thank you enough. I didn't Brooklyn Menace. I was just this is my looking uh, through my cell phone. Yeah, thank you. Your 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 footage and the way you documentary kind of covered it. I mean, it was incredible. If you've not checked yeah. that out. Check it out on his channel. Yeah, it is back with just a few minutes clipped out, you know. Mm. Yeah, but uh, well. yeah, I was just joking. Uh, I had a great time. Just like Prince Malcolm said, it was so nice meeting all the YouTubers that I, I enjoy watching their content. Everybody's, they're all such nice people. And um, you're just great being over at Arcade headquarters, uh, meeting John, meeting Michael. And it was it was just a fun time. I was having fun watching everyone else have fun. And it was it was a little hot, but I was uh concentrating on what I was doing. I did. I went uh hey, much bring it, five Alex. Hours bring straight. it. Alex is going after my score. Go for it. So let's see. Um and then uh we got of course steps and you can um intro yeah. your video. Tell us all about it. Oh well I was there at the um the game and brew and I saw uh, that they had all these uh, gold caps. And I'd seen some of them in some random videos where they went places for like uh, like a convention or something. But I had never seen any of them in person. I actually, it was my first time seeing a gold cap in person. And so they had so many different prototype gold caps. And gold so caps. What, what did you think about seeing it like, like actually seeing the real cab? Was it better than you thought? The gold cab? The gold yeah. cab feels really nice I, I it's definitely an improvement the marquee's really nice the uh, uh, you know I I've only had the one behind me which is the you know the uh, base model you know and uh, I'm tempted now I really want a gold cab you know and that and I like that space invaders cab it was really I mean for a classic game it looked really sleek and really um, really awesome I liked it a lot I also really like the um, the Dead Cells, even though I don't play that game, I thought that looked really good. Absolutely. I would, I would, my, my dream one would Both probably years. be the Space Ace just because I like the art, but the, the, you know, that's not official as a prototype. <laughs> yeah. Well, I will say this I have no regrets getting the gold cab. I'm totally happy with it. And uh, let's, let's roll your clip. Let's talk about gold, baby. Gold. <laughs> Looks like we made it to I Arcade. Kristen Steps of Steps Gaming here at iArcade headquarters. I'm going to go through real quick and show some of these gold caps they have. Some of them are unseen, like they're not ones that you'd normally see. They only have four on their website. Let's see what they look like and what we got. I love gold. The look of it, the taste of it, the smell of it, the texture. I love gold so much that I even lost my genitalia in an unfortunate smelting accident. There's the Space Invaders cabinet. Look at that. Nice marquee. Over here we have Rising Hell. Look at that. That is a sharp looking gold cabinet. Got a Tojin and an Earl that's not turned on. Does this turn on? That's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not working. 
I couldn't get it up and running in time. It looks really cool. It's the first time I've seen two jam and Earl tabs. It's the first machine I couldn't get up today. So. It's a prototype? The board inside, yeah. All, these are actually all prototypes you see. Yes, these prototypes. machines that are here, yeah, our original, our original board machines. Yeah, so we're trying them out. Yeah. Uh, a little bit different boards in there, too. It, Almost the same, but not quite the same as what Gold's trying to do. Who puts the graphics on the black cab? Is that you? Is that your job? You do? Yeah. So are you good at it? I'm okay. You're okay? <laughs> okay. Lots of water, spray bottle, or I mean, what? I do. I use Windex, yeah. You Windex, so you do the... Yeah, I don't do it dry. Uh, I do it wet. And then, so it has a little bit of give, at least two, just in case. Yeah. yeah. No, I'm OCD, so like, I'm very crisp on the edges, typically, too. Not it so looks today, yeah. professional. Like, I looked at it, because I looked it over. I go, I want to see if you did a good job. It looks great. So, so good job. I'm going to come back and check it out right now. Sure. Here is the dead cells. Look at this dead cells. That is a sexy cabinet. Who would have known dead cells would be an awesome arcade cabinet? Oh man, that is nice. I like it. And in the old school gamer magazine, what's your name? Ryan Berger. I'm the publisher of the magazine. And what's your magazine like? What's it? Uh, we cover retro gaming going back to like the 70s through the 90s. Once you get to high def, we're kind of out of it. Yeah. Iron Cage's been a big sponsor of ours the last couple of years. So I had, I had other reasons to be in Chicago. Found out about this. Wanted to come out. Very awesome. cool event. The last time I came to one of these, there's only about ten of us. Different scene. That's awesome. So you're 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 uh, wanting people that are nostalgic for the old video game magazines. Nostalgic for the old magazines. Um, we have similar stuff to like what you would have experienced back in the day. We talk about the current technology and retro stuff like what they have here, and we have you know interviews with the guy who made Cubert, the people involved in Mortal Kombat, all that kind of stuff. You can get access to the magazine for free. You get access to the first half of it at no cost by just going to OldSchoolGamer.com. Awesome, OldSchoolGamer.com? Awesome. Check out the magazine, it sounds awesome. I miss reading my old EGMs and Game Pro, so it sounds like I'd, I'd like this. We have some people from those old magazines, including the former editor of PlayStation Magazine, uh, working for us, a guy that used to go by the name Jaded Gamer. Uh, Bill Donahue is one of our editors, so we're doing some callbacks to that style. Of Sexy Space Ace Gold Cabinet that's not released. It's a prototype. Michael B. the Game Genie. Playing my favorite IRK game, Riptide Renegade. Yeah, boy. That's your favorite? Yeah, that's my favorite. Okay, I need to play it more. If it's your favorite, I oh, need to I actually play it. I have it. Do you play it online? I don't know if it's online. I just played the. I, I thought they go, I went online with it. I thought. All right, let's see what we want. What do we want here? Some stuff online. Look at this. You can absolutely play that game online. The online in that game is absolute fire. We play it all the time. Even if you don't like Space Ace, like the artwork, the the, the, the cartoon, I like all of it. Looks I don't awesome. care. About the Death Cells cabinet is really awesome. I showed that one a minute ago, and I'll show it again. It is. Like, he had the front of it. I don't even like Dead Cells. I don't know anything. And it's just like, it's such a pretty cabinet. That purple. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's great. Man, all these cabinets, I want them all. It doesn't work that way, though, does it? Oh, man. Thanks, Michael B. We got Retro Mania Wrestling Gold Cab. It's a prototype as well. We got uh, Jeff Cobb, Chris Bay. Look at this. Matt Cardona. The Blue Meanie, The Legion of Doom, War Horse, this Sydney Hunter cabin, cabinet right here. I would never have thought Sydney Hunter would look great on a cabinet, but this thing is amazing. That is a very attractive cabinet. I want all these. I'm not even kidding. Look at this. And I think that's it.
I'm in the I arcade stream room. Ah! <laughs> 19K Fox playing Operation Wolf on the I arcade. <laughs>
I want to yeah. do a quick shout out to a community member. He sent me some uh, content, some pictures to post. He's a friend of the iArcadians. His name's Goofyfoot. Goofy. And he did a mod of his gold cab with the Glenn's Retro Show four way to eight way electronic switches. And um, I want to show a couple pictures real quick of his mod. Um, Okay, um, and I love the position he put the button in. It's yeah. like that spot on the Space yeah. Invaders where there looks like there should be something there. That's awesome. There's so a saying, couple like, we, pictures. We mm -hmm. have the cabinet, Brad. So, like, if you don't have the cabinet, you may not have realized that that's not – there was no button there. That was just part yeah. of the graphic. No, that's a mod. And what we're talking about is it basically will switch between perfect four-way and eight-way controls. And the cool part is this mod, you have to kind of you have to kind of get your hands dirty and do it. There's a little bit of drilling you did. Look how clean you did it. He didn't even go all the way through. You can't wow. even tell. And the other thing I wanted to show is we also have this to look forward. This is coming soon. Oh yeah. So if you don't want to do it yourself, Glenn's uh, retro show is going to have a control panel as well. And I got this cool picture of the original Operation yeah. Wolf. Little flashback, um, to but a shout out person. to Goofy Foot. Um, he wanted to come on, but he was having some uh, problems. I want you to hear the sound that this thing makes. Here's a recording of just the sound the switcher makes, so you can experience it. This is a very clean mod. Great job. And just like that, you got four-way and eight-way control. Pretty Beautiful. cool. But uh, shout yeah, out to all Goofy he has to Foot. do is take off those uh, child-proof edges. Oh, yeah. Didn't even put them on my, <laughs> my gold cap. I Goofy Foot, let me just explain something. Nobody puts those on. We just store those out. You know, well, that is we'll the perfect mod to put in that cabinet. spot, though. I love his button where he put the button. It's just amazing looking. That looks incredible. See what I shout said, out so to Prince Malcolm. Thank you for your service. This is from Alex. Um, shout out to the to the real police. We appreciate you, Malcolm. And uh, you know anyone does public service, definitely. Thank you for your service. <laughs> 